Afternoon YouTube. It's officially fall, so the fall transition for bass and crappie should have already started. It may be a little bit slower depending on the areas or regions, but I'm gonna hit a couple of spots today and see if they've started moving into the places that I typically target them. But I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on each place because it's supposed to be like 92 today and I really don't feel like dealing with 92 degrees worth of temperature. So we're gonna hit, like I said, hit a couple of spots and see if we can find some crappie. Well, just so that we don't get skunked, what do you think about trying one of these trout magnets just to catch a bluegill? So that this ain't a skunk trip. I had one bite in there. Let's go back over here. Well, We're not skunked. I have caught a few crappie here and there in the back part of this creek, but they're few and far between. When they are in here, they're real small. All right, I'll probably switch over to a little blade bait here in just a minute just to get a little extra hook out there. The only thing is I don't have any ice with me, but I do have, um, I do have my cooler with me. So it's better than nothing. You gotta kind of watch out. It's plenty of rusty chicken wire to get tangled up in and cut by. I could go without getting cut by something metal and rusty because I don't know when the last time was that I had a tetanus shot. I guess it would help if I put my sunglasses down. Now I can actually see where some fish are. Look, there's one right out in front of me that I didn't even know was there. Oh, well, y'all, I started this day out in hunt of crappie, chill, lost all hope, and then this one just snuck up out of nowhere, it's not big enough to keep, which I wasn't going to keep any anyway, but let's get a picture real quick and get it back. Oh, I am very sorry about that belly flop. Well, I'm snagged, but what's new there? Um, not trying to defend Pissafun because I'm done with them and their crap and I'm going to be replacing this reel, but this is a six pound, that six pound braid and I got snagged on this log right here. And it is moving this whole log. And it's stuck. 
Hopefully I can just bend the hook out. Yep, it did. Oh, we got something good here. He was wrapped around a stick. It's a good bluegill. And, you know, I don't need a bait that large, but I want to turn it into bait because I don't want to be out here that long. That is a very pretty bluegill though. All right, pause for manifestation of bait. All right, so what I'm doing here, instead of rigging up a swivel and all that, is just taking my main line and just doing a little overhand knot. So like that, just center down. Pull out your handy heart box knife or box cutter knife thing. Awesome knife. I might leave a link in the description. Anyway, what you'll have is just a loop like this. And what you'll do is just pinch that loop down and run your hook, or run it through your, the eye of your hook and there you go. You can take it on and off, adjust it as is. And the rods I'm using are a little bit on the light side for catfishing in any way, shape, or form, but that'll work. It's a loose Xfinity six foot medium light. Got a spool with eight pound test. You know, plenty enough for what I want to do because typically the catfish in here ain't very big. And the other loose Xfinity six six medium, eight pound. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see here. I believe. I'll toss you right there. No, that is not to where that is going to go because That is super tangy, or that is super tangly, and I also had a scale on the end of my hook. Anyway, got one right over yonder. Let's set them down in our trusty takedown rod holders. Go check them out. Link in the description. And replace the battery before it goes dead while I fight a fish, if I end up fighting a fish. Well, little update, ain't caught crap. I've removed my bait several times. This one's been hit once or twice, and I'm using the original pieces, and this one's getting yanked on, which is probably a turtle. I'm going to let it take it for a minute because it probably is a turtle. Screw it.
that's exactly what it is. <clears throat> and I will be cutting my line because I am not going nowhere near this thing's mouth. That is a uh, that is a rather large turtle. That is a next level no. Well, the bite is pretty dang slow. I've had a few small takedowns here and there. The only things we've caught so far is the one bluegill, a crappie, and that massive turtle. So I'm gonna give it about another 15, 20 minutes and then call it quits. But anyway, I gotta clean up a mess because I forgot to latch one of my tackle boxes. Uh. R.I.P organized tackle box <sighs> yeah all better kinda well I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to make a video out of this but if you're seeing this I did very slow day I went to like three four five different spots I lost count um lost quite a few lures only caught two bluegill the one crappie and snagged the one big turtle well really didn't even snag the turtle he ate the bait and hook so I, technically i caught the turtle but anyway for the average joe y'all so y'all know how fishing goes sometimes you catch a few catch a turtle sometimes you don't catch anything sometimes you catch a ton and that's really what this channel is all about is just showing you know the real side of fishing from the average joe's perspective anyway hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like and share and follow and all that good stuff and we'll see you in the next video